We'll solve the equation 0.4p plus 0.2 equals 4.2p minus 7.8 minus 0.6p. Now this equation has a lot of decimals in it, so the first thing I'm going to do is to multiply on both sides of the equation to eliminate the decimals, to clear the decimals. And we see that the, each of these decimal expressions has just one decimal place, so if I multiply on both sides by 10, I will clear the decimals, and let's do that. We have 10 times 0.4p plus 0.2 on the left-hand side, and multiplying by 10 on the right-hand side, I have 10 times 4.2p minus 7.8 minus 0.6p. Now using the distributive law, 10 times 0.4p is 4p, and 10 times 0.2 is 2. And doing the same kind of thing on the right-hand side, 10 times 4.2p is 42p, 10 times 7.8 is 78, so I have minus 78, and 10 times 0.6p gives me 6p, so I have minus 6p. Now, I'm going to collect like terms on the right-hand side next. I have two p terms here, so I'll just rewrite the left-hand side. And I have 42p minus 6p, which is 36p minus 78 on the right-hand side. Now I want to use the addition principle to collect all the terms that involve p on one side of the equation and all the other terms on the other side of the equation. And I see that if I subtract 36p on both sides of this equation, I will eliminate the p term on the right-hand side. So we'll subtract 36p on both sides. 4p plus 2 minus 36p equals 36p minus 78 minus 36p. Now on the left-hand side, 4p minus 36p gives me negative 32 times p, and then I have a plus 2. And on the right-hand side, 36p minus 36p is 0, so I just have the opposite of 78 or negative 78 on the right-hand side of the equation. Now I'd like to get this p term alone on the left-hand side, and I can do that by subtracting 2 on both sides of the equation. So I can write negative 32p plus 2 minus 2 equals negative 78 minus 2. And let's go to a, a new sheet of paper. On the left-hand side, I have negative 32p plus 2 minus 2. 2 minus 2 is 0, so I just have negative 32p on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, let's see what we had. We had negative 78 minus 2, which gives me negative 80. So negative 32p is equal to negative 80. Now I want to get p alone on the left-hand side, and I can do that by dividing both sides by negative 32. So I have negative 32p over negative 32 equals negative 80 divided by negative 32. Negative 32p over negative 32 just gives me p on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, I have 80 over 32. I'm dividing a negative number by a negative number. And I want to simplify 80 over 32 if I can. And I see that each of these numbers has a factor of 16. 80 is 5 times 16, and 32 is 2 times 16. And now I can cancel the 16s that are common to the numerator and denominator. It's like removing a factor of 1 in the form of 16 over 16. And what that leaves me with then is that p is equal to 5 over 2. So we would say that the solution of this equation is 5 over 2 or 5 halves.